What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the WWE Elite Series 109 Cody Rhodes and Shinsuke Nakamura figures. Really excited for these, man. I'm intrigued to see what these are all about. I do have my worries about these figures, which we're going to, of course, dive into. But being a Cody crybaby and loving Shinsuke Nakamura, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to these figures. We may be looking at the best Shinsuke Nakamura figure that Mattel has given us. And having a suited Cody figure is something a lot of people have been wanting. So will it be great? I have my worries about it. I'm still intrigued with it. We're going to break all down the lore, of course. Break all down the lore. Go back to English class, Brad. What are you saying? But if you guys like these figures, you want to pick them up already, you can go over to WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles is where you can grab these. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I do believe they're in stock right now, so you shouldn't have to wait on them. Again, I'm not 100% on that. You'll have to go over there and check, of course. But we do have Shinsuke and Cody Rhodes here, man. Brand new Undisputed Champ. Here's our suited Cody figure. I'm kind of, I don't know, man. I'll get into everything I think about this figure, but I do love some Cody Rhodes, right? So, got a handsome shot of the man there, and on the back, you do have a nice shot of Cody there. Look at that. A gap between the tattoo and the ear. Who'd have thought? And then, of course, we do have Shinsuke Nakamura, which he has a pretty good track list of figures. He also has some figures I don't like, but Elite 109 is looking pretty good here. Got Shinsuke there. Shinsuke there. Prior to the WWE draft. We're, we're coming up on a damn draft, Brad. Isn't tonight the draft? Or am I tripping? I don't know. Nonetheless, we are going to crack these figures out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, see how they compare, and find out what Elite 109, Cody Rhodes, and Shinsuke Nakamura are all about. So let's get them out of there. So here's Cody Rhodes and Shinsuke Nakamura out of the packaging, man. I'm enjoying these figures. I think we do have a couple gems here, but again, not perfection. We are going to break all down everything. Why do I keep saying break all down? We are going to break it all down for you here. Get into the lore, of course. But I was hoping that Mattel would make a suited Cody figure, so I'm excited to see this figure come to fruition. And it kind of, you know, we didn't really know about it. It kind of dropped out of nowhere. You know, we, we knew that Cody Rhodes was coming in Elite Series 109, and we were speculating on what gear it could be, and all these different things, and then you show up at WrestleMania Superstore, and bam, he's in a suit, and then bam, the images are released, and then here it is at my door, so life comes at you quick, man. Let's shut the hell up and get into Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories and Shinsuke, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the American Nightmares accessories and Cody Rhodes. So for Shinsuke Nakamura's accessories, much better than our last review. You get some good cloth goods in here, and not that Bailey didn't have good cloth goods, it just wasn't comparable to this jacket. Speaking of which, jacket is a, I don't know, I like that word, jacket. What a good jacket. Good stuff. All right. That's what you come to the reviews for. Why is the damn exposure so bad? My God. So we do have this black entrance robe. Now, what I like about it is you do have these long sleeves right here, you know, that kind of creates this flow when he's got his arms out. And you could put this on a lot of guys. I could see this on, like, Demon Finn Balor. I could see this on, maybe not Undertaker, but I don't know. I could just see a bunch of different guys wearing this. Am I crazy? I could see a lot of different guys wearing this, and I like it. I think that the robe looks very good. It was tied on to his waist perfectly out of the packaging, and now that I've untied it, I'll never get back on there the way that it was, so leave a like for that, because it's gone now. I mean, you you can forget that, Brad. But I like this a lot. It looks really good on the figure as well, so I do appreciate a good entrance robe. I'll never get tired of these cloth goods. This is why we collect right here. And then for interchangeable hands, he does come with mic holding hands, weapon wielding style hands, and he does have the design of his sleeves on. So that bodysuit deal that he wears, it goes all the way down on his hands like Jeff Hardy or something. And then you get the signature Shinsuke Nakamura style pose hands, or the V1 Matt Hardy style hands. I know the thumbs out, but it's still there. So getting into Shinsuke, starting out with the Head sculpt. I like this head sculpt a lot. I like the sculpt. I like the likeness. I like the beard. I like everything going on with the Shinsuke head sculpt. I like the newness. This might be up there with one of the better Shinsuke Nakamura head sculpts of all time. You know, his, I think it was, was it Elite 63? And then his Ultimate Edition had some really good head sculpts, man. Really, really good. And I think that this one is up there. I think this one's good. I like it. I enjoy it. I think the hair sculpt and everything is really, really good. And this hairstyle that he's rocking, I consider this the Shinsuke hairstyle. Anytime I see anybody rocking this, that's what I consider it. We do have this torso here that I don't don't believe is new. I do think this is his Elite 81 torso, but it has been repainted. So you have like the zipper down here and you have the white and black going on with the body suit. He does have double jointed arms though, which is nice. And last time we saw Shinsuke, he was in an all white gear in Elite Series 96, which is also a really good figure. Shinsuke actually has a lot of figures, man. You don't really realize it until you take a look, but he does have all of his designs going down. This is our first tights Shinsuke. We've never seen any tights Shinsuke, so this is our first one. And I don't remember what leg mold this is specifically. Off the top of the dome, my mind is 
escapes me. But I do think he's on ball joints, and it, it looks pretty good. He's got the black and white designs going all the way down, and he does have kick pads. Now, the Shinsuke figure, man, feels really, really good in hand. But again, it's probably because he doesn't have pinless joints. He has pin joints, so he moves around very buttery smooth. It just feels really compact and nice in the hand. I think that if you guys enjoy Shinsuke, this is a really good Shinsuke, I, I believe. Not my favorite gear he's ever worn, but it's pretty toyetic. I like it, but let's get into some Shinsuke Nakamura figure comparisons. This is every Shinsuke besides the Defining Moments, which I did customize. So I do have the Defining Moments. I just turned it into his WrestleMania 34 gear, which we ended up getting in Ultimate Form, so I'm a clown for doing that. So dumb. So dumb. I don't know why I did that. But looking at all these Shinsuke Nakamura figures, from left to right, you have the Elite 57 Shinsuke, the Elite 63 Shinsuke, the NXT Target Exclusive Shinsuke, the Elite 96 here that is a fix-up. That's the Survivor Series Elite shirt with some AJ Styles feet. The Ultimate Edition Shinsuke, the Elite 81, the Elite 81 Chase, and then the Survivor Series Elite. And last but not least, here is the Defining Moments, which was a great figure, by the way. A lot of people love this figure. Wasn't the greatest articulation-wise. However, that is all of your Shinsuke Nakamura's, man. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I think they all scale well. They're all pretty perfect, to be honest. But yeah, we have quite a bit of Shinsuke figures. You don't really think about it until you sit down and think about it. So for Cody Rhodes' accessories, I think this is crazy. I did not expect to get a full rotating office chair. And we've seen this before on multiple occasions from Mattel. But getting it here in the main line is pretty cool. I think that this is going to be big incentive to pick this up because I know a lot of people have never got this chair. And I can't even remember all the ways to get this chair. So I think they did a pretty good thing here. Really smart by Mattel. And you get some other announced stuff, you know? And I mean, who's to say you couldn't take this Cody Rhodes and paint the neck and put a different head sculpt on it and make whoever you want? Now, I'm not doing that because I'm a Cody crybaby, all right? You could do those things. That is a thing. But you do get the office chair. And the office chair is nice, man. It rotates right here. You can recline a little bit right there. Take naps in the office when nobody's looking, you know? Fall asleep on commentary. Lean back. Have yourself a seat. So yeah, this is good. I like the sculpts on this and everything. And the reason I went to one announce table on my Fed is because I wanted to have these style chairs for the announce for the announce desk. And I only had three of them, so I couldn't put both commentator tables out there. But now that I have four of them again, because I lost one, now we're putting them back out there. We're going to have two announce tables back out there. So that's good. What the hell are they going to announce for? And then we also get a WWE microphone, which is the triangle style. Very cool. Got WWE logo on there and it completes on there. It's not sculpted on. It's painted on. This is a very good version of a modern WWE microphone. No red on the edges, but I mean, you could add that. I don't think it's necessary, but you could do it, I guess. But I think the the new WWE logo was genius. Whoever designed that, that modernized that Scratch logo, is a genius. It legitimately is probably one of the best logos ever. They, they are geniuses. Now, we also have a headset for your announce table or your commentator's desk, and it even has a sculpts right there on the ear pad, which I think is genius. Now, you'll, you'll be seeing me rock these on the sidelines coaching football, but commentators and stuff also wear these. Now, as far as putting it on the Cody figure, I don't know. Not the, uh, I mean, I guess it's it's okay. doesn't really hug the, the head sculpt that well. kind of looks like a damn pilot, but I don't know. It, kinda, it looks a little bit big, and it doesn't necessarily hit, hug the head sculpt, but I think it, it's okay, you know? Not, not the best of all time. I think the ringside collectibles ones are better. If you guys have ever seen those, I think those are better, to be honest, but I like it. It's not bad. Not half bad right there. Commentator Cody. It's kind of got a little ring to it. And then outside of that, you do have the mic holding slash weapon wielding hands. Get the fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. And then you have the number one hands or the pointer fingers to point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. So getting into Cody, man, I'm pretty tired of this head sculpt. I feel like I've seen it so many times. We've got it on basics. We've got it on elites. We've got it on the ultimate. I'm over it. I'm over it. I need a smirking head. I need some different head sculpts for my Cody Rhodes figures for sure. But yeah, just get rid of this one, man. We've seen it enough. I don't mind a straight face. And again, man, if it were the Defining Moments head sculpt, I would not even care, but it's because it's not that, and it doesn't look as good, that it doesn't, it, it's just not as good, man. Look at this. It's not the same. It's not the same. Like this, if this head sculpt were over here, I would, I would take this all day, but it's not. It's like slightly different. There is something about it that is different. The eyes are painted differently. The lips are painted differently. There's something about this Defining Moments head sculpt that is perfection, and if all of these new figures of Cody had this same head sculpt, wouldn't care about the head sculpt. I'd be like, yeah, give me that one every time. I wouldn't blink an eye, but it's because it's not the same and it looks off and it doesn't look the same that it bothers the hell out of me. So there's my rant. But going down into the neck and torso, I mean, you're not getting any groundbreaking stuff. You do have this blue tie here. I got a little schmutz on my damn shirt, man. It came with a damn, like, ketchup stain or something down there. I'm gonna have to definitely get that off. He does have the tattoo on the side of the head here. I have covered this and I'm gonna continue to say it, man. I'm gonna plug it in every single video until they do something about it. There is a a gap between his ear and the top of the tattoo. There is a gap. 
okay? And what they should have done, there is a little bit of the tattoo on the collar. That doesn't bother me that much. You can hit it with some white paint, but lower the tattoo a little bit. Have the tattoo, even if you look on the back of the packaging, the tattoo is like halfway covered. So if you move the tattoo down and cut it in half and don't put the full tattoo on there, you could have half the tattoo, leave it off the head, there'd be a gap, it'd be accurate, and it'd be all right in the world, man. So there's that. But another thing, I do like that we have a suited Cody. I just wish that this had a pattern on it and it was light gray and light blue on the tie instead of so plain and flat. It's just like flat blue and flat charcoal gray and it just doesn't look aesthetic. It just kind of looks, it's not bad. It still works. It's just, I think that it could be better. But you do have the double jointed suit arms in there. I also don't like that the tie or the, the belt's unpainted so that also makes it look very toyish and plasticky. Might come in and paint that or something. I think you could do some wonders if you painted that. I think it would really actually add to it. Another thing I'm going to do, we do have these older leg molds here, these Build-A-Figure style legs in gray. They need a new pants mold. These pants aren't the worst, but I would like to see a new tapered sculpted pant mold for modern dress pants and suit pants. You can't, th I'm telling you, man, we need, I've always said that we needed new like athletic build suit bodies and it still remains true. It still remains true. This isn't terrible, but they could do better. They could make it look more of an athletic fit. There's just so many things they could do to really upgrade that. But then at the bottom, we do have the black shoes, which I think brown shoes would look better with this outfit. You know, I don't know if he actually wore brown shoes or not, but I'm going to use the suit, the legend suited ultimate warrior. I'm going to use the shoes off that figure and give him brown shoes or something on surgery. I think it would really add to it. And I know, man, I'm just kind of going on and on. You're like, ah, oh, dang, like, well, my God, what is this? I'm just, dude, I'm just being, re I'm giving you all of the information. All right. I'm giving you all the information on why these figures and how these figures could be improved. And you know, we want that realism. I think, you know, having a pattern on the tie, having a pattern on the jacket, painting the belt, adding the right shoes, even if they were black, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing shish out there. Maybe he did wear black shoes, but he just really transformed these figures. You can make these figures go from like, yeah, suited Cody to damn suited Cody. Let's get into the Cody figure comparisons. So this is every elite and ultimate Cody Rhodes we've gotten from Mattel so far since he has returned to WWE. And from left to right, you have the top picks, the second top picks, the new Ultimate Edition Series 21, the Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition, the Defining Moments Ringside Exclusive, and the Elite Series 101. And we do know we have multiple Cody's coming this year, and rightfully so. And obviously the Elite 109 is in the middle, but the body mold they chose does make him a little bit short. I don't think it's just egregious or anything, but it's certainly shorter than everything else. They do make the Ultimates a little taller than the Elites, but for the most part, I think it checks out. I was kind of worried. I thought the scale would be a little worse, but I think they pretty much nailed it. I think it looks really good. So yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I like this a lot, but we do have some more Cody figure comparisons. And that is the suited Cody comparisons. And for those suited figure comparisons, we have the basic suited Cody on the left. You have the Legends WWE Elite Target Exclusive Ultimate Warrior in the suit that I replaced with a Cody Rhodes head sculpt to put Cody in a suit there with the red tie. You have the Elite 109, the Unmatched Series 4 Chase, and the Unmatched Series 4. And it is cool to have all these different suits. I think it's cool. I just wish that, you know, like on this AEW Jazzwares one, the tie has a pattern on it. The sculpt of these pants is better. They're tight fit. They're athletic. That's why I always enjoyed the suit figures from Jazzwares because I think they do a better job than Mattel. Mattel looks so bulky. And this is a step in the right direction. I just think that the bag, the pants are too baggy. It's just not an athletic looking fit. But it's not bad. It still works. It's just, you know, we need to make better steps in the right direction. And maybe I could put the damn loafers from the Rock figure on this suited Cody. That may look pretty good. I don't know. But that does it for your suited Cody figure comparison. But I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite 109 Cody Rhodes and Shinsuke Nakamura reviews. I am happy to have a suited Cody figure. I just hate that it's the same leg mold, it's the same jacket mold, and I know, you know, it's not necessarily a money grab, right? I don't think it's a money grab, but I do think they could have done some outside-the-box things. I hate how it's just run-of-the-mill. I do enjoy the suited figures. I love suited figures, promo gear, street attires. You guys know this. If you watch the channel for any amount of time, I say this all the time. But I would like to see some new pants molds, man. This was a style in the 2000s and maybe the early 2010s, but nowadays, man, people are not wearing their pants like this. They're usually not baggy. Cody Rhodes for one, I know wears like tapered pants. Same thing with the jogger molds and the blue jean mold on Stone Cold Steve Austin. We need a new jeans mold, man. It needs to be tighter cuffed and nicely sculpted. I think that we need a new tapered leg mold. I think these legs are on the way out. I think they are adventuring into new legs. And I do think the figure's too short. I will say I think the figure's too short. All they really did was add a different jacket piece. And this we've seen this jacket piece before. I think it's the Jimmy Hart jacket piece. Like the vest piece that goes over the torso. So it's not 
anything groundbreaking. I do like that we have an official Cody and suit. I don't care for the colors that much, even though I know like I'm kind of nitpicking. I'm just being real here. I think that, you know, Elite 100 Andre, how they had the pattern in there. I think the pattern would have been amazing to have a light gray pattern in there and give him like the brown shoes versus the black. And he may have worn this suit, man, but you can even see on the side of the packaging, you see how the tie has a nice pattern and the jacket has a nice pattern. Instead of just having this charcoal gray suit, it would have been really cool for them to do something like that outside the box. Give us a pattern. Give us a really cool look like that. So those are the different things that I'm talking about. I think that that would be really awesome to see them implement something of that nature. So I guess the figure is cool. It's just a bit flat. I do like the rolly chair though. I think the announced table chair and everything. I could be wrong about the headset being a new sculpted piece, but I think it is. And I think that is cool to have in the line. You know, you could buy multiples to put them on your announced team and stuff of that nature. And maybe this means that we're getting a new announced pack so, uh, soon. I don't know. But I find it kind of random that they would throw in, you know, the, the spinny chair, the office chair with the headset. I think that we could be seeing something like that implemented soon maybe. But I do like Cody. I like this figure and all those things. And then as far as Shinsuke Nakamura, I really do like this Shinsuke. I think it's one of his better figures. I love the formula. I like how good he feels in hand. Very articulated. Very smooth. He also doesn't have pinless joints. So maybe that's, I mean, that's probably a good indicator right there why the figure moves so well on the legs. But I like this gear, you know, very, I don't know, it gives me NWO vibes. And I love the entrance gear. The entrance garb, the robe is very nice. I loved how good it looked in the packaging and right out of the packaging, how nice it looked. And now taking that off, I'll never get that damn thing on there as nice as it was. But those are the prices you pay, man. I had to take the jacket off for the review, so. But it is a nice jacket. You can put it on a few different guys as well, so that's cool. But if you guys like these figures, you want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I do like these figures. I approve these figures. Really good Shinsuke. Very cool suited Cody. I just would have changed some things personally, but I am a Cody guy, so that's probably why I would do those things. But I don't know. I just think that they really, they can really add to these figures, man. These little, these little nuances, these little details that they could execute, I think would change it drastically, but we will see. It just looks a bit flat at the end of the day, but I do like the figure. Nonetheless, man, I also want to see a different head sculpt. I'm sick of seeing this damn head sculpt. I think a smirking head, like he's on the side of the packaging here, would be a nice head sculpt, and I'm sure that's coming. We're going to get plenty of Cody's. I'm just, I'm just throwing all my thoughts out there for you. Nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below and all the different things, man. Leave me your thoughts. I'd greatly appreciate it. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.